Right, so hi Ashley, you had a good start um, on this, but there were a few problems once you got to the formulas. So I want to go over that with you, and a video is usually the easiest way to do that. Um, let's start with the um, weekly pay rate. So what you did was you went in and you put the right formula in for each person, and that works. If you have a spreadsheet, so we have, I don't know, seven people here, um, and we're doing it one time. What if this was a payroll for 100 people and uh, you had to do it every week? Uh, that would be a real headache. So the nice thing is Excel has a function that lets you um, come up with a formula that lets you have the right formula regardless of whether they worked overtime or not. Okay, so you don't have to think about it. Excel is going to think about it. So I'm going to delete what you have here. And I'm going to hit the insert function button here. Um, you can get to it. Um, however you want to if you want to go to the formulas ribbon if you want to go through auto sum but but regardless we get there um, I'm going to go to if function now I ha use it a lot so it happens to come up on my um, list of ones most recently used but if it doesn't you can go to logical it's a logical function okay and choose if and click OK that gives you a dialog box for entering it when you're entering the, the um, function the first thing you're entering is a test to did they work overtime? So is their total hours worked greater than 40? Right? If it is greater than 40, then we have to pay them overtime pay. So that is the, let's see, 40 times the pay rate plus um, parentheses the hours worked minus 40, so the number of overtime hours they got, times the pay rate times 1.5 okay so that's their overtime pay um, for that if they didn't work overtime if it's less than 40 then it's just their hours worked times their hourly pay rate and and that's really all there is to it I do recommend until you get the hang of the if function that you use the dialog box and to be honest I've got the hang of it I've been using it for years I still use the dialog box I just think it's the easiest way to do that I'm going to enter that formula in and now I have a formula I can fill and it's going to be right regardless, okay? And we look at this, and this person here worked overtime, say, the next week. Um, they didn't. Okay, let's see. It gets it down there. It switches the formula up, okay? So um, put those back the way they were. Uh, you can see how Excel does the thinking for you, and that is always the best way to do it. The best way that, to set up a function is to let Excel do it, once you have a function that works, fill it, and you're good to go. For this one, again, you put in, first of all, you have a really bad habit. Don't put sum around anything you're not summing, okay? This is not a sum function. A sum function is for adding a group of numbers. Sum function is perfect here when you're totaling the hours worked. You do not need it here. Start with your equal and then you want the amount they're getting paid times the payroll tax. Now you've already seen because you obviously put the formula in every time when you put it in like that if you fill it you get errors that's weird what's happening okay well there it's um, I4 times J2 oops here it's I4 or sorry I7 times J5 because you filled it and it shifts when you fill that's called relative cell address. If we use an absolute cell address, and I do absolute by adding dollar signs, I can hit, either hit F4 or type them. It doesn't really matter how I get them in there. Um, dollar signs act like anchors. So now I'm anchoring the reference to cell J2, and when I press enter and fill it, now you can see, oops, when I look, this shifts that one does not and that's what you want to do so that's an absolute cell reference great great tool in Excel and then here with the net pay again you're not summing you're just doing simple math so the payroll minus the um, tax okay and that gives you your function so don't put that sum in there um, unless you're summing uh, that was it everything else looked good you got your conditional formatting right it was formatted fine um, it sets to print on one page so all of that was good uh, take another look at that fix it and resubmit it when you get a chance thanks